At the start of a new season, nobody knows where to land and where the good drop shots are. And with the amount of duo tournaments happening this season and the possibility of duo FNCS happening again, we are going to be looking at the top three drop spots this season. Looking into how to land at those places, how to find the optimal loot path, and where to rotate. I'm going in order from most to least contested, so stick around to the end to see my favorite drop spot. On top of that, if you guys do want to support me, make sure you go in the item shop and use code SPADES. It's S-P-A-I-D-Z-Z, -Z, two Z's, and that helps me out a ton. I really appreciate it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Alright, guys. So the first place that we're going to be looking at is Castle Doom. Being that this is a new POI and it has a medallion, most of the time there's going to be a bunch of teams going here, so you guys just got to be cautious. What I recommend doing is going down here, so you're going to land right below this bridge right here. There's going to be two little entrances, so there's one on the left, you can see, and then there's also the one on the right. As long as you get a you know decent drop, there's going to be normally guns on the bridge, also up here on this top one. But I just like to land, you know, get right here in one of these doors. Also, by the way, there's normally a chest that spawns right here. You've got two barrels, one there, one behind this. So, you know, we're just going to drop down here, grab a couple quick guns. Let's grab this, kind of show you guys real quick. Just gonna grab this. On the way, I like to farm all these just because they do give you metal. On top of that, the big animal crates, obviously those are gonna give you minis. So you can, you know, pop a quick shield right here. And then like I said, there's more barrels over there. So as we rotate in here, you just gotta be cautious. Sometimes there are people that land up above, especially on that bridge and they'll watch this area a lot. So when you walk in here, normally there's gonna be a chest here, chest there, and then we've got this bigger one right here. So this one is guaranteed to give you two guns. So normally it's pretty nice if you, you know, just run in here real quick grab two pretty good guns normally got more chests right here sometimes there's going to be one on the other side of this wall so we'll grab that real quick after that i recommend just going upstairs so actually i missed a big chest yeah so we've got this one right here sometimes it's going to be a you know god chest otherwise just go straight up here walk into these doors and you can sometimes you know obviously if you have virtual sound effects on you'll see it sometimes there's a chest sitting right out here otherwise you just break right down here i've got this avengers chest so this is where you're going to have the guaranteed either War Machine or the, the Avengers weapons. So you can grab that. You know, you can grab that if you'd like. Otherwise, you can get all this ammo in here. And then we're going to rotate outside. We're going to go this way. I normally skip these chests. I just run straight up to the top here. If you can just run directly in and just go straight for the boss as quick as possible. Most of the time where people start dying is whenever they fight the boss while there's people like right near them. So if you try and get the you know quick kills before people are able to rotate in, you're going to run in here. I normally just shoot him from back here. If you want to go up close, that's fine too. Alright guys, so now that we've got him killed and everything, he's also going to drop this full fizz. He has a gauntlet. So the gauntlets are not going to be inside of tournaments. They're only going to be in ranked and pubs. Otherwise, you can grab all this stuff. Normally, I grab the fizz, you know, pop whatever shield you have. I always recommend carrying a fizz just because it's so easy for rotation, stuff like that. More, you know, more chests outside. We can pop the fizz, and normally I just build up a little bit. If you've got decent mats, just build up, and you can just run and just get out. So, you know, depending on where zone is, normally I recommend, you know, if you're going for kills, if you're landing Castle Doom, normally you're going for a little bit of kills. So I recommend going towards Doom's Courtyard if you're able to, if zone is like it is right now. Sometimes you're not really able to other option you can go to the other side and you can take the volcano and you can go towards reckless but for me what i'd probably do in this situation is just go straight for like doomstat or reckless one of those two just because the others are in zone you'll be able to fight people coming out of these other spots you know just hold them in storm that type of thing but yeah otherwise we're just going to get into the next drop spot all right guys the second drop which is also sometimes going to be contested is rebels roost honestly i really love this drop just because as long as you and your duo are able to kill the people off spawn you will have a pretty straightforward early game. You know, have time to loot up. You'll have time to get a whole bunch of mats, stuff like that. Okay, guys. So whenever you do actually go to land down here, what I recommend doing is land right directly right here in one of these windows. So if you have a pretty good drop, mine's almost perfect. You're going to be able to land and just jump straight in here. Just like that. Normally, there is going to be either an Avengers chest or like a God chest. You know, normally chests in there. Otherwise, you can, you know, get the floors, all the floor loot just, just sitting here. If you walk right around another spot that there's normally a god chest or an avengers chest is going to be right there otherwise you can go in here we've got all of these right here so it's guaranteed blue or purple or gold so that's pretty nice to have just guaranteed decent loot right there right off the rip 
Otherwise, you can get a whole bunch of ammo in here. You know, obviously, I already have some max minis and everything. Um, can run through the back. There's going to be more fl floor spawns. There's already a god chest right here. So we've already got a fizz. We've got minis. We're looking really good off the spawn. Otherwise, you can go in here, go into the kitchen. This is another chance. Or sorry, not into the kitchen yet. Um, here's an Avengers chest. So we've got another one of these. Oh, it's on the other side. So that's another guaranteed, you know, war machine or whatever it's going to be in your game. Otherwise, we'll drop right down here. More floor spawns, stuff like that. You can go into the basement. You know, there's a lot of options for farming down here. So normally, there's going to be a chest down there. There's already a big ammo box, all that stuff. Otherwise, go through this door, and sometimes there will be chests right over here. This time, sadly, there's not, but, you know, other times, sometimes there will be. Otherwise, we're just going to go straight back up the stairs, break through this, and then you can go over here into the kitchen. This is what I was looking for. It's going to be more ammo crates, more chests, all this stuff. Sometimes there's going to be another Avengers chest in here, so just be careful for that. Otherwise, you know, just keep keep farming around in here. If you do kill the teams off spawn, it's pretty easy. It's basically just like playing box fights. So if you guys, you and your teammate are good at box fights, it's pretty straightforward down here. Otherwise, you can just go straight out the front. You know, normally a few more full of spawns out here. We've got a big pot, you know, a whole bunch of stuff to farm. You can farm the fences if you're in zone and you have time. Otherwise, I just recommend rotating out. And because of the situation you're in, most of the time, if you loot up quick, you're going to be able to rush over here and grab the medallion. If you want that stupid invisibility medallion go for it i don't like it at all personally but you can grab the shotgun all that stuff so we're just going to rotate through here farm up like i said tons of trees and stuff tons of brick you can farm so we're just going to run straight there and just go for the other teams so again if you're landing at this spot you're probably looking for a decent amount of kills otherwise if not if you're just looking for a chill game you know looking for placement points trying to rank up fast just by in-game kills stuff like that then the next place is going to be what you're looking for so make sure to stay tuned for that there are going to be a couple more chests here. And if you somehow don't have enough loot still, there's two more spots that you're able to go to that will have some decent stuff. So number one is going to be this house right here. So the house you're able to, you know, there's going to be a, two chest, a few chests in here. You can check out. See, this time we've only got one, but you can just mantle up here. Oh, it's not up here. Sorry. Got an ammo crate. Got one chest. So it's going to be some decent stuff. It's not really a great place to land, but if you're just, you know, need some better loot, that's fine. Otherwise, you're just going to run straight up this hill over here. So here's another pretty good spot to just grab some extra stuff if you have time and you're not, you know, stuck in zone like I'm about to be. You can farm up some metal. You've got gold here. So if there's vending machines near you in the end game, that's a really good spot. Otherwise, we'll just jump up here. You can go inside. Normally, a chest in here. Sometimes a chest right there. Otherwise, you just go right in here. You don't have anything, actually. So there should be one more outside. Yeah, so in that case, you can go straight for Doomstat. That is what I would do. You should, at this point, have enough mats, have enough loot. You know, I'm not even playing a real game, so I haven't been farming that much. But I already have 500 mats. Or 500 wood, 300 brick. So, you know, just be be cautious with your farming. You can be safe with your mats, but you never know how much other players are going to have. So if you have max mats and you're more prepared than they are, then that's, you know, it's a great position to be in. Otherwise, we're just going to jump straight into the next spot. So going into our third and final drop, this one is my personal favorite. So it's going to be a split between two different spots, actually. So it's going to be split between this spot and right here. So I'm going to mark this as person one, and then this part is person two. Person one, which is going to be the person landing right here. This should be the person who's a little bit better, you know, feels a little bit more confident playing out in the open. While person two is going to be, you know, obviously they're going to be enclosed, so they've got a little bit more of a hidden spot. So person one should just be, you know, a little bit safer. Normally the more aggressive fighter, but, you know, they're able to hold back if there is a team. So this person is going to land here. So you're going to be able to loot up. There's going to be a ton of floor spawns. There's going to be a couple of chests. But the really the big thing here is you're going to be able to get max wood really quick. So we've got a bunch of trees right here. I normally just farm them up, you know, right when I land here. It's going to be chests, floor spawns, like I was saying. Normally get a full loadout pretty quickly. You know, these trees are going to give you 50 plus each. And there's multiple of them. So you have at least at least 200 right off the bat. And I haven't even, I've only farmed two so far. On top of that, these statues right here. These are going to give you a lot of metal. The bigger ones at the top, those are going to give you bricks. So if you break, I'll show you in a sec on those. But if you break, you know, all the bases, all this stuff, you're going to get a ton of mats really quickly. Got a bunch of floor spawns. We've got more wood right here. So right there, already at 350, like so quickly. I haven't even finished looting and I'm already at 350. 
We've got a full loadout right there. We have the splashes. We have big pot. We have everything we need right now. So as person one over here, as they finish up looting, you just want to come over here. I recommend just breaking these. You know, people will definitely see it because the whole thing does break. But you get a ton of break from this. Also, I'm going to be more chests up here. So most people in this situation, when they're fighting, or sorry, not when they're fighting, when they're up here, most of the time they have the urge to just go down, you know, straight around here and go to the front of this side. What I recommend doing when you're done looting here, when person one is done looting, you know, break all this stuff, but you're going to want to rotate this way. There's two big reasons you're going to want to do that. Number one is when you go over here, you know, more chests right here, more ammo boxes. The big thing you're going to be able to see if there's people fighting up in Mount Olympus. So if you have virtual sound effects on, you will be able to see that far. You're going to be able to tell. Reason number two, and the biggest reason, is because you're going to be able to see if the bunker spawns. So the way to tell is if there is stuff that spawns around it, and I can show you guys what it looks like when there is stuff that spawns around it. But right now, this one, you know, is not going to spawn. You'll see a bunch of metal boxes just and, you know, chests, stuff like that spawning around it. If there's just floor loot and no boxes at all, then it is not going to spawn. Otherwise, what you're going to want to do is you're going to come down and you're going to meet person number one. So I'm just going to cut to that view exactly what I would recommend they do in just a sec. But yeah, you've got other stuff you can farm. You've got more brick. You've got more trees, stuff like that. But you're going to want to make sure you drop down the back side just because whenever person one lands, they're going to be coming in from the front area up there. So you're going to want to come in from this side just because there's a chance of two more chests. And I'll show you guys exactly where you're going to meet right now. If I can beat the train. Yeah, so you're going to want to come right down here. There's normally chests on that side, but right now there's just this one on this side. So you're going to want to come right in here, and then you've got the doors right here, and you're just going to meet your teammate. All right, guys, so I just showed you guys person one. Now I'm going to be showing you person two's point of view. So person one, obviously, they landed over there. I just showed you that. Person two is going to be landing right over here. So what you're going to want to do, person two, is you're going to want to drop, and you'll be able to tell if this spawns down here. Normally, there's going to be a couple guns sitting, you know, just on the floor. You'll see the bots and everything spawn down there if it is, if the chests are going to spawn. Otherwise, I recommend landing up at the satellite tower just because you're going to get an idea if people are landing with you. You'll have the advantage with the guns and everything. So you'll see that in just a sec here. All right, yeah. So you're going to be able to see, you know, if there's people landing up at Mount Olympus, if there's people landing with your teammate, this is a chance to check on that. Just pay attention, really carefully see where everybody else is landing just so you have the advantage. You're going to have a few four spawns right here. Otherwise, you're going to have a chest, at least one gun, you know, just to have something right off the bat. Right here, I do happen to have max shield, so I'll have the minis and everything. And then after that, you're going to want to farm all these trees and everything. So we've got a whole bunch of trees just sitting here. So after you've gotten a couple of guns and things up there, you're going to want to farm all these trees just because inside you're not going to get any wood, really, unless something comes out of a chest. So get as much as you can right out here. If there are any rocks or anything like that this are here you can farm those but i recommend just getting max wood as fast as you can you'll have brick and metal on the inside otherwise you know at this point just make sure your teammates okay make sure there's nobody up there with them that type of thing just have good communication otherwise you will have a couple of barrels sitting here so you can get the chest if there's one that spawns sometimes there's gonna be one that spawns on the other side hit these barrels all that stuff and really, if you do get one mini up there, you can just use one at the top and then get these three barrels because inside there are going to be more. So when you come right inside, what I recommend doing is just break this wall just because if anybody does try and sneak in here, you do have this already broken and everything. So then you kind of just have the ability to just farm, you know, you have all these barrels, all this metal, all the brick, everything you need. There's normally going to be three, I think it's three to five chests. Just kind of depends on exactly how everything works out. You've got multiple floor spawns and then make sure you go over here just because sometimes people will try and come down the zip line and they're just not prepared so you can kind of catch them off guard with this little trap if they try and you know if they are on the zip line it will break all this stuff and they'll kind of be trapped down here so if you have your build sitting right here there's not really much that they're able to do just because if they break straight down you can just kill them just like that so it's pretty simple with that Otherwise, just break all the barrels, and I'll show you guys exactly how much mats there are, but you can easily, easily, easily get max mats right here. You're going to have multiple chests up here. Sometimes there's going to be one below, sometimes one sitting right here. Another thing to watch out for is sometimes people will try and come through this porta potty So this porta potty I'll show you exactly where it goes. There's a house sitting right up top. Sometimes there's going to be a couple chests sitting up here. So people will try and contest you up here sometimes. Just make sure. And like I, I was just saying, if people try and take the zip line down, it's going to break that and they're going to be trapped down there. Otherwise, you can take the porta potty right back down if you want to loot that little house. And then your job as person two right now is just to get as much match as you can. 
So person one, because their area is mainly brick and wood up here, they're not going to have really any metal to farm. So you want to farm as much as you can. And if you farmed all your wood and all your brick outside, then it's pretty easy to get max metal inside. And yeah, I'll cut to it, but you're just going to want to farm as much as you can, as quick as you can. All right, guys. So at this point, it's only been a couple, you know, a couple quick minutes and I'm already done farming all this stuff. I'm already max materials. There's extra right here so I can keep farming until my teammate gets down here. So you just want to be careful to your, you know, not being pushed by anybody. Your teammate's still doing okay, all that stuff. And right now it is zone two. So that is when the satellite tower is going to spawn. So while it's your teammate, you know, person one's job to make sure that see if the bunker is going to spawn. It is your job to see if satellite tower is going to spawn. Most of the time you're able to go out here by yourself, but you do just want to be careful because most of the time there are going to be other teams trying to push it. But otherwise you can just run right out here. You know, you did already farm and loot all this stuff. So most of the time people aren't really going to be looting through here, but they will sometimes just be running through. So you're going to want to come over here and kill this as quick as possible. Normally by the time that you're done getting the satellite tower, you are able to go back up and it will be third zone and that is when bunker spawns so if the bunker does spawn by the time you kill these guys the bunker is going to be you know ready so you can go back up there with your teammate with person one you want to try and lure him in so try and get him to come over to you just so you don't have to run as far you don't have to drop your stuff otherwise just drop like your minis or something you can go grab the key card real quick you know just run right back over and see where the next storm circle goes Otherwise, at this point, you know, if you don't remember how to see if the bunker spawns at this time, you will, you know, eight more seconds, you're going to be able to see if the bunker is going to spawn or not. It'll make a noise and you'll be able to see it on the map. Just a little marker. Yeah. So we got lucky with this one spawning. So you just want to run up here. And this is again, I was going to show you guys how to see if it's going to spawn. This is how you're going to see if it's going to spawn. So obviously it already did, but you're going to be able to tell just because you'll see right here how there's all this stuff that spawned right around it. So the metal crates, the you know, if there are any chests, anything like that, you're going to be able to see that. So you're just going to want to grab the this as fast as you can. Grab all the loot. You're going to be able to upgrade your guns. There's a ton of gold in these bunkers. So, you, you know, you just want to make sure you get all this. I would recommend one person get all of the gold. So one person don't even pick any of it up. Just back up so you don't grab it. And the other person picks everything up. Just that way, if you guys do have upgrades, anything like that, you can have one person do all of it. At this point, if you're not max metal or max armored walls, anything like that, this is your time to like farm up. Again, upgrade your guns, all that stuff. And then you're just gonna run out of here. So at this point, most of the time you have an idea of where zone's gonna go just because it's, you know, if it's pulling this corner, this corner, just which direction it's gonna go. So you're just gonna wanna run in that direction. Just pay attention to what side is gonna be dead side. Talking about like dead side, stuff like that is gonna be more on the side of like how to rank up, that type of thing. But this is just kind of a idea of good drop spots so stuff like that if you guys do want more info on how to rank up that type of thing i will definitely drop a video on that soon but you know just get down here you're gonna have all these cactuses and stuff so if you aren't 100 100 just grab these somehow if you're not you know that's probably not a good thing you definitely should be um yeah so just rotate in normally this side is kind of dead side just because medallions normally try and go to the top area they're fighting up here especially in order restored reels that's normally a pretty popular spot so the raft, just this side of zone is going to be normally pretty populated. So try and stay nor near Nitrodome. Nitrodrome. I can't talk. Sorry. And yeah, you guys should be good. If you guys enjoyed this and want to see more videos like this, maybe a solo or trio drop spot video, make sure to drop a like and comment letting me know. If you watch this far, comment two green hearts so I know who the real ones are.